Hey guys, it's Dina back again with another review video on um, some items that I picked up on a recent trip that uh, my daughter and actually my dad went with us. We went to Florida and picked up a little Honda Civic for my daughter and then we went to North Carolina and got a car that my dad wanted and on the trip I actually stopped at a Forever 21 and it's probably the biggest Forever 21 I've ever been in. It was like two stories and I swear it was the size of like a Best Buy. I mean this store was humongous and um, I was just kind of walking through there and I thought I'll look at their beauty stuff because I am just it doesn't matter where I'm at or what I'm doing if they've got a beauty section I'm gonna look at it and um, I found some little shadows there and I've never tried these before I've never seen anything about these so um, I'm just gonna show you a review of these and some quick swatches and I've actually wore these I think this is probably the third time that I've wore them since last weekend, and I am extremely impressed with these. I love the quality of them. I love the softness, the pigmentation. They work amazing. So if you are on a budget, these are your friend. You can order these online. They do have them on their website. I think they're $1.98 for these, and I believe it's $4.98 for the palette that has the five shadows, or it may be $5.98. I can't remember, but these are $1.98, and these are wonderful wonderful shades so um, the container just for reference is just about the size of a MAC blush I mean it's they're pretty good size container um, but this one right here is probably my favorite all over color and I've wore this just all over the lid and it's kinda like a um, tan color with like um, let's say like a shimmery champagne sheen to it um, this one I again wear it all over the lid this is what it looks like swatched and this is it on my hand and it's just a soft shimmery color and I'll give you a little bit more they're very very soft but they're not um, chunky or powdery or anything like that so that one just shows up I love the way this looks on my skin so that one I've been wearing all over the lid and then I have been putting this one in my crease and this is just like a mid-toned to deeper brown with some gold shimmer in it and again you can see I've just been tapping just um, actually I've been wearing this brush right here out it's from Essence and I think it was like a dollar ninety-nine it's their crease brush but I've been using that for my crease um, with this palette here and I just barely touch this and you can see this is really nice pigmentation and then that's what that one looks like there so I've been putting that one in the crease and it's just got very very slight micro fine glitter in it so it's nothing that's going to be chunky chunky or you know make you look like a disco ball and then this last color here this one is called charcoal called charcoal and the colors were on the box I know that this one said brown I believe it was and then this one I think also said brown so it's kind of weird but they have two shades on their website that look very similar to this color so I ordered one of each because I just don't know what they were and for $1.98 I'll take my chances but they're in like this kind of packaging that reminds me of like the NARS packaging like it kind of feels rubbery a little bit but this is the charcoal and this is so pretty can you see the shimmer but it's like not chunky again these are very smooth and um, I'll just show you a swatch of this one and I'm just barely touching and it they're very very pigmented um, lay these out here so you can see and then this is what it looks like swatched on the skin so it's like a gray slash black color there so um, I really really like those three like I said I've wore them at least three times and I'm not sick of them yet <laughs> um, and then this is the palette that I picked up from there and they have two palettes and I don't think it says the name and of course it doesn't it just says love and beauty distributed by forever 21 so there's no color but there were two palettes that they have and um, so I ordered the other one because I looked online and it was just a little bit different than this one. This one was a little bit darker, I believe. So um, if you get a chance to check those out. This is their highlight, highlight shade here. 
some medium brown. This is like a coppery brown, golden brown. This is the deep brown here, and I'm going to swatch these all on my hand for you. And then this one is the matte black, and that is the most horrible angle ever, and I do apologize. So we'll do the black one. And then there's the brown. Coppery. And then the highlight shade. So there are those shades there. And obviously this black one could definitely be built up. And actually I'll show you that because that was a horrible, horrible swatch. Let me wipe my finger off because I don't want to get these shades mixed together and get you a weirdo swatch there. But yeah, there's that one there. So these are very, very pretty. The highlight shade, um, I'll swatch that one a little bit heavier. Um, but it's just like a matte highlight shade, kind of a creamy yellow. So, yeah, I mean, if you're on a budget, if you're in high school, if you're in college, if you just don't have any money, <laughs> um, these are a great, great find. Um, again, you can order these online. They're $1.98 a piece for the single ones. They did have some quads, and I ordered one, and they had also some blushes that I ordered and I believe they were like three ninety eight or something like that so their products are very affordable but I'm telling you they're great quality um, compared to like for instance the elf um, ten color palettes that I purchased at Walgreens these blow them away um, these don't come with any type of applicator this palette does it just has a little sponge tip applicator so you will need to have your own brushes or applicators but usually if you buy something you will have these so these do have um, kind of like the El Cheapo textured spongy applicators so they're not that great but I still keep them you know just in case I need them so um, I was talking to one of my friends on here that um, lives out in California and she was saying the same thing she's like you know sometimes you just forget to bring a certain brush or you forget your brushes all together or you know you, you lost your bag or something and you need something to use to put them on I always save those I never chunk them out because you never know when you're gonna need them so um, anyway that is just a quick review of those and I'll show you really quickly um, I wore this today this is the um, 24 hour shadow color tattoo shadow from Maybelline and this is the barely beige so this is what I used as a base all over my lid all the way up to the brow bone so I'll just show you this. This is just how I wore it um, today. So you can kind of see how that main color, this is the base here. And then I'll show you that main color that I wore all over the lid, how it looks on top of that base. Because I'm really, really loving this look. Like this would definitely be like my go-to everyday neutral look. So that's how it looks there. So you can see there it is swatched just on bare skin. This is it swatched on top of the base. So, um, I know my lighting is horrible, and I did have some really good suggestions for, from some viewers, so I do appreciate that, and I will try and work on my lighting, and it'll be really nice when I have a camera that I can use and upload videos and edit them and stuff, but right now all I have is a cell phone, so I'm doing the best I can, but thanks for sticking with me. So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There are the swatches of the colors. Um, check these out if you get a chance. I would definitely recommend picking them up. Um... You know, I know that um, a lot of people are looking for something affordable that's good quality, and this is a number one recommendation for me. I would recommend these to anyone, and I have everything from generic dollar store stuff to as high end as you can possibly think of Chanel, Burberry. I mean, I've had, I've used it all, and this is some of the best that I've used, and it's great quality. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share those with you because um, I did have some questions about them. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. And if you're new, please subscribe and hit the like button if you would so we can get some views on this video to share these great affordable products with everyone else. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week, guys. Bye.